By the middle of the century, there will be close to 10 billion people on our planet. All of these people need to be fed and have their energy needs met. Therefore, we need to produce more from the valuable resources that we have, and we need to do this in a sustainable way. We have been working to provide solutions to these challenges, and the good news is that we can. The answer lies in technology, and innovation. So there's an amazing story that, that everyone should know, and that is the story of the Green Revolution. And if you go back into the Great Depression in the 30s and the 40s, there was massive starvation, there was huge unemployment, and there was this need um, to be able to figure out how we're going to feed the world and how we're going to employ the world. And what happened, and what's been coined as the Green Revolution, we applied new technologies in terms of high-yielding genetics, started to look at fertility, started to look at irrigation, huge advancements. But over a period of 60 years, we've increased the amount of grains production and agri-food production five-fold. In New Seed, we focus on four core crops that we are industry leaders in, in terms of developing genetics to advance agriculture. And those crops are canola, sunflower, sorghum, and carinata. And about 12 years ago, we were looking at industry needs and unmet um, challenges that we see in the world. And one of those was significant deficiency in one of the world's essential um, ingredients, massive increases in the amount of aquaculture production. One of their major ingredients to be effective and to be able to be grown in a healthful way is long chain omega-3s. The problem though, that existed was that there's a finite supply of omega-3 nutrition in the world and it all had to come from the ocean. So omega-3 is a, is a long chain fatty acid that is beneficial in the human body. So the health benefits are amazing as far as eyes, nervous system, and it just is a very, very crucial part of our diet. At New Seed, we believe in the power of a single seed. We feel that agriculture has a vital role to play in solving major global challenges. And in the case of our Omega-3 program, we're contributing to sustainable and responsible use of our ocean resources as a way of reducing climate and environmental impacts. Omega-3 is critical for the development and health of certain species of farmed fish, like salmon, in the same way that it is for humans. You may be surprised to know that the largest volume of fish oil, which is the major source of omega-3 today, actually is consumed in fish feed in the aquaculture industry. The problem is there's not enough fish in the sea to meet the demands of this growing industry. Agriculture Organization of the United Nations has indicated that a full 70% of all fisheries are either at or beyond capacity. And with our oil, we can meet the growing demand without pressing the wild fish stocks further. We set out to create a canola that could deliver this vital nutrient through biotechnology. By using microalgae genetics, which are the original source of the long chain fatty acids more commonly known as DHA and EPA, the canola works with these genes to deliver a unique fatty acid or unique oil profile. It is the first oil that is commercially available to the aquaculture industry as a new source of omega-3, and we've branded it as Aquaterra to reflect the combination of land and the sea. It's not just an alternative or a complement to fish oil, it's an entire new feed ingredient. In fact, there is a new study out by one of the world's leading research institutes, Nufema, that it was conducted with our oil showing 
improved fillet quality, and a reduction in melanosis, which are those spots that consumers sometimes see on fillets. And it's an important indicator of quality of the fish, and it leads to less waste. Fish farmers care deeply about providing the best conditions and diet for the fish that they work with. The aquaculture industry has doubled over the last 20 years. It now accounts for over 50% of the fish that's consumed by all of the people globally. It can double again, but only if there's a sufficient supply of omega-3 to address the needs of fish health while not compromising ocean health. New Seed has a deep and long history in the development of canola in, in multiple countries around the world, and we've added a whole department of aquaculture and nutrition, as well as other scientists and agronomy that, that link together this value chain so we can actually deliver this solution, but have the, have the depth and the knowledge of what's actually happening in those new industries to bring the solution forward. Now, often we talk about the fact that innovation is really how you take these new technologies and bring them into a marketplace that actually creates value, puts a, a, a new dollar in someone's pocket or solves another social or environmental problem. And that, that's really, to me, I think what we've become now more focused on is how we actually partner both at the farm gate with people in the middle of the value chain as well as delivering into aquaculture this new technology in a way that delivers it sustainably, that we can be a reliable supplier, but that actually creates value for everyone involved. We're opening whole new markets that today agriculture doesn't serve. Its value beyond yield really represents our strategy but our mission. The sustainability of, of the program, how we can help reduce the impact of the oceans and we can actually raise it right here in Montana. So it interested us from that standpoint. You know, if we've got that opportunity to reduce that environmental impact, um, it's a renewable resource. And so it only just makes sense. That's what we do, that's what we're good at. The benefits that we get back from it, it's a win-win for both sides. We are on the cusp of a major leap forward in sustainability, ushered in through plant-based technologies. These technologies are ready and here now. This technology has the potential to double the world's supply of healthy omega-3 oils. We are excited about the opportunities in front of us and our team is driven by the role that we will play in feeding a population of 10 billion people by 2050.